So today we are working on, I think we're gonna plant the blueberry bushes. Um, we got the tractor here, and we're gonna try to, um, I tested the soil yesterday, and it's good. You don't run over me. All right, so I tested the soil yesterday, and um, it works good, or tested fine for over here where we wanna put them. So we're gonna try to get that done. Um, still hasn't started my seeds yet. I've got a couple things coming in the mail tomorrow that I need to get that going. Um, the piggies, the piggies are crazy. Um, but I'm excited that they're finally going in the ground. We took some T posts up right here and um, raked some of the leaves and stuff. So I think we're going to put them like along this right below the um, pigs here. So I took some leaves and raked right here um, and just kind of cleaned up the area. We took some T posts that were down right through here. Took them down because you can kind of see where I've raked and where I haven't raked. But um, yeah, I think this is going to be the best spot for right now um, where it would be because our house will be up that way. So it'll kind of be in between um, everything that's going on here. Be close to the house now and then close to the new house. So everything's kind of just hanging out today. It's kind of an overcast day. A little bit of a breeze, but hopefully it'll be a nice day to get some stuff done. Um, I know the tractor is giving us a fit. Um, we put a lot of money in it recently, and it's still not um, running super great, but hopefully it will be working good when we need it. What you doing now? Turning the fuel off. Mm. All right, so we got the first hole mostly dug. It um, <laughs> makes us dig it. Kept on making me make it water. <laughs> um, so what we're doing since we have clay soil here, um, you can see it. You can see like the, the red there. What we're doing is the soil that's on the top is pretty okay. Um, much better than once you get deeper in the hole. I can't see on this thing to see if I'm in the... That's a different hole. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Um, so you can see the difference. So what we're trying to do is separate From the... one spot to a different spot. Redder, more thick, hard clay dirt. Separate it and keeping out the where nice, the fluffy... Where the stuff are going to be is where the... This kind yeah, of so blueberries don't root very deep. Um, anyway, so we're separating it because we'll have plenty. And then I'm going to add some garden soil. Um, I don't have any compost yet. We're supposed to get a delivery soon. But this will this will be fine um, for this project. But we're just kind of separating the nice fluffy topsoil. And keeping this... Uh, red clay out so so they have the, the best drainage that they can have so within this whole area we'll have eight we have eight blueberry bushes right now um and it has plenty of room for us to do more uh, when we need to and be fine i think that's probably deep enough we just got the water yeah, so in clay soil, you want to plant your blueberry bushes about three to four inches higher than the current soil level. Oh, I hear the tractor running. Um, and then mound it up around them. And that way they um, get good drainage and can root well. So we don't have to go super deep. These are probably 12 inch pots. Um, maybe and then we got pots. two like six, six inch pots. Yeah, we got two smaller ones. There's one. No, one. No, there's two. The one's just not in a pot anymore. Well, it may, they may die. 
They didn't do good I don't last year. I think they're going to sprout. I, I think know. they're going to We'll see. That one's kind of sprouting. You'd be surprised when you show a plant some love and feed it and water it. And that one dead plant goes at Deeks. Uh -huh. And Dad brought it back to high. Picked wow. that flower. Yeah. I mean, I've seen stuff that I thought was never going to come back. And, and it just come back on its own. So, we're going to plant them all. Plant all eight of them. They may not all survive. Um, but that's okay. They were... Um, we got well our money's worth last year off eating blueberries off of them anyway. <laughs> they produce quite a bit. And they look so tiny and dead and pitiful. They've got some blooms on them. So, you can see this... Um, it's starting to get some leaves on them but um man when they are like full like they were they were pretty bushy i believe that's sticking we'll off oh yeah that's good yep on to the next hole <laughs> yep how many more to go seven no <laughs> six 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 so how much more that's my phone my man Now, I got a question for you. What? After we put each one in, that means I get a little sugar, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> Cora. Get that one right there in the center, you know what boy. this is? Come on, Ralph. It's your blueberries. Get that one in the center, though. <gasps> figure something out dad what if you don't feed the pigs they'll kiss get angry. two more <laughs> quit that cora <laughs> now you made me miss count <laughs> there you go. i think cora is trying to dig up some dirt What are we doing? Five and five? Yep. Five foot apart, five foot one? Yep, five, five. Y'all see what she makes me does. <laughs> Big with a shovel, no handle. We not, we broke a pair of post holes. She's mean. And she's mean. that was yesterday. And then we got another set from his dad. And then we figured out a shovel was much easier. And broke the shovel. Not Clay. Bring that one up yonder. So, at least now that you've like tore the ground up, it's not as hard to dig. I need another. Man, another big. All right, so these two last ones, they may not make it. Oh, wait, I see a little bit of green no. on them. Oh, uh, I don't know, but we planted them at the end. Um, they were two that I got, um, and I had some trouble with them last year. Um, but we'll see how they do. That's why we put them on the end. If they don't make it, we can just pull them out. And then we won't have like a giant spot to fill. To we'll see the lady that I bought these from, she sells them every year. And so, if we do need to fill in one, if one of them doesn't come through, then it'll be easy to fill it in. Let's see. 
Gosh. Hold on, we got fresh in the bottom up a little bit. All right, put her in. All right, I'm, I'm gonna hold it. Now you rake all this stuff back around it, okay? Rake it in there good. All right, there you go, boy. Here. Let me five. In case y'all didn't count, she owes me three more kisses. Clayton, you better come get your kiss from your mama. Um, mom. <laughs> he was giving everybody a kiss for each plate this morning. I didn't Dad. say everybody. Yeah, guess what? Two more kisses. No. Well, pepper was eating a pepper. Pepper. Yeah. All those peppers. Pepper. Blueberries are in! Josh. Yeah. But How long have we been saying we wanted blueberry bushes and never had anywhere to put them? You've been saying that a long time. <laughs> Since the it don't matter to me. I want my blackberries. They're done. Hey, I told you we need to go get some blueberry, blackberries and put them around. Come on, Cora. I'm so excited. I've literally waited 15 years to have my yep. blueberries. Like in the ground. All right, on to the next thing. Daisy is trying to show the new baby goats how to get up on the barrel. It's so funny watching them. She's like, this is how you do it. So the funniest thing, Mason's been telling me we were getting a blue egg, green egg in this coop. And we move the green egg layers up there. So, one of these, probably one of our new ones, or obviously one of our new ones, is laying the green eggs. So, they don't look crossed at all. They look like true bar drop, but hey, it's what it is. Really cool. So, he's just moving that uh, manure, trying to get it in here. We're trying to, uh, thinking about moving this bed, um, extending our garden a little bit. I've got these uh, raised beds we bought from somebody. So, trying to figure out how we're gonna lay everything out right here. And plan for our garden so we can get some stuff on the ground. And the chickens love this. I love just scratching through it. Oh, there comes some more running up there. <laughs> Alright guys, so we planted our blueberries the other day and we didn't do much else. Regular farm chores is all we done. <laughs> so today I'm finally planting some seedlings. So um, I'm gonna turn my music back on because I would rather just kind of zone out and listen to my music while I'm doing this But I'm gonna let you guys see what I'm doing um, Really quick here. I've got um, Some seed starting mix that a um, Friend gave me who um, has like a nursery. She's like a greenhouse um, We get some of our plants from her every year I've got some trays I ordered from Bootstrap Farmer and these um, I also ordered off Bootstrap Farmer. So we've got those. I've also got some containers that people have been keeping for me. I'm going to try something called um, Winter Sewing. Right, anyway, some people have been saving these for us um, and I've cleaned them out. Um, couple weeks ago so I'm just going to try winter sewing so basically this creates like a mini greenhouse um, I've only got one two three I've only got eight bottles to even try anything in so I'm gonna try those and see how that does um, and then we're gonna put these inside I'm gonna do two trays of that I'll show you what I'm going to plant here in a little bit um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started back with this stuff. Okay, so I got 
all of them labeled what I'm going to plant. I do have some more tomatoes, a different tomato, slicer tomato that I'm going to try. Um, it's, it'll be here in a few days. It come with my potatoes I ordered from So Tree Seed. So, um, I've got this bullnose. Let me find it. This bullnose wheat pepper from Baker Creek. Um, I got these from a community project thing um, last year. So those are technically expired, but um, it's okay. And then I've got, we'll, we'll see, I'm only doing four of them. And then I've got the California Wonder. Um, I've got two packs of it. Um, still some from last year, but I'm going to do 16 of those. And I'm going to do... 12 of the banana peppers and then I'm doing this whole flat of the San Marzano um, I don't know how these seeds are going to be honestly um, but it's um, they were just out of charge of supply and I wasn't going to start any tomatoes because the friend that I bought this soil from um, she starts tomatoes so I was just going to buy some from her if you know we couldn't start our own so but i'm going to try them um see how they do and i'm going to try i think it's called the homestead variety from so tree seed that'll be coming um but i'm going to do this whole flat see how they do and then do these so i only had to label um four different labels because i know from here over is this and from here over is this and this row is this and that trays that so I'm not having to label a lot um Josh went ahead and cut these um I don't know if I'm gonna do anything in these I might try some of my other seeds or something to see how they do but um right now I'm gonna get these done get them in the house so that they can be um getting warm and germinating for me so I always like to um start my holes because if I don't and I'll see, see I see some that I haven't started um but I like to go ahead and poke my holes that way I can cover them up as I go that way I don't accidentally um dig into one that I've already planted because I've done that before um and these bullnose they say to just do them right on the surface so I'm going to try that with these and yeah here we go all right they're all planted um I ended up not having enough San Marzano um seeds to do this whole flat um because I was sowing two per sale um but so I started three more of the California Wonders um, so I'm going to take these inside and get them set up so they can be warm. Um, we're going to start these maybe tomorrow. Um, once I figure out what I'm going to put on them, hopefully my other tomato seeds will be here. That'll be good. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, I had to put these two together because we didn't have enough footage putting the blueberries up. Um, we also got the RV moved. It's not behind me anymore. Um, so we're excited about that, but, um, but yeah, we'll keep you filled in. I've got some lots of videos in mind to come, come up. Um, it's supposed to be rainy the next week or so. Um, so I'm going to do some filming inside and then maybe a little bit outside too, depending on what's going on. But I want to thank you guys for watching and God bless.